October 7, 1780, the Battle of Kings Mountain, North Carolina took place. This battle took place nine miles south of the present-day town of Kings Mountain, North Carolina, in what is now rural Cherokee County, South Carolina. Patriot militia defeated the Loyalist militia, commanded by British Major Patrick Ferguson of the 71st Foot. After Ferguson arrived in the area of Old Fort the previous month, he warned the area mountain residents that if insurrection continued, he personally, quote, would march his army over there and lay waste their country with fire and sword, unquote. Patriot militias, led by Benjamin Cleveland, James Johnston, John Sevier, Joseph McDowell, and Isaac Shelby, all agreed to put the youngest of the local militia leaders, William Campbell, in charge. Then, they all rallied for an attack on Ferguson. The battle lasted 65 minutes and has been described as the Revolutionary War's largest all-American fight, and it was a major upset victory by the Patriots. 290 British Loyalists were killed. 163 wounded, and 668 taken prisoner. Major Ferguson was among those killed. Among the Patriot militia, 28 were killed and 60 wounded. In addition to boosting morale for the American Patriots, the victory resulted in Lord Cornwallis abandoning his plans to invade North Carolina. Instead, he evacuated Charlotte and retreated to South Carolina.